Hi, I'm Phil. Hi, my name is Robert. I'm the writer-director. And I'm actor and stunt coordinator for Excavation Point Thestius. I know there's something down there. If we don't find it soon, we're gonna pull the plug on this entire operation. I just don't see the point of being hung up on the past. Putting all your trust in Orion and his hopeless mission. It's not hopeless. The terraform will commence once unmanned freighter is engaged with Thestius. They're on approach. We found something. Excavation Point Thestius is, is my passion project. I'm trying to mimic the aesthetics of these films, but also tell a character-driven narrative that's responsible and giving voice to people that usually don't get voices in big blockbuster films. It's following a crew of excavators on Thestias as they're looking for historical artifacts. But they face a lot of challenges on that planet, and they find something that jeopardizes the entire mission. We're trying to create as much as a fully realized set as possible. Like the stuff you see here behind me, all was used in the making of the film. For me, a great opportunity as an actor was the possibility of working inside a live set. An actual spaceship was built for us to run around in and actually be able to physically touch. Yeah, we've got two fully realized sets that we build ourselves. We're building the scale models for the film. We're shooting on amazing locations in New Zealand. It's made with industry professionals, but also mm. with students from four tertiary institutes in Wellington, New Zealand. It's really exciting because it gives a lot of people the opportunity to work in a professional setting, but within the safe network of us as a team trying to make yeah. this, because we're passionate about it. We're passionate filmmakers that want to tell stories that move people. So to, to have the opportunity to do that is really unique. Yeah, we've had an amazing response so far. We have people back in Europe, we have people here locally who supported us. It's been really cool sort of seeing it grow um, because it sort of just started with Phil and Robert and then, you know, I've been part of the development of seeing the cast come on and seeing, you know, art department and it just grow into this massive production, really. It was a really good experience working with the team. Everybody has so much to contribute creatively. And we don't usually get to work on super creative projects professionally and so that's why it was just a really nice opportunity to use your creative mind on something that you care about. Like you work in visual effects but it's really cool seeing practical stuff like you know, people actually building real things rather than just doing it all on a computer. The next big challenge for us uh, moving forward is a big exterior shoot coming up at an iconic New Zealand location. And we've got three big scale models that we're going to be filming. This is an amazing opportunity and you backing us will help us make this a reality. We're hoping to bring it out to film festivals and down the line we want to distribute it online. But we also want to give something back to you. And we'll be offering amazing merchandise that we're really excited to create. We're going to be making t-shirts with the Excavation Point Thestia's logo on them. We will be printing out these dog tags that are officially part of the props used for the film of ETT. And we'll be printing posters in the old school style of 80s movie blockbuster posters. We're also excited to offer you some exclusive shorts that we made in conjunction with the short film. So these shorts were made with the main acting crew, but also together with the director in order to deepen sort of the understanding of the characters that we have. Yeah. This footage will not be included in the movie and is exclusive to Kickstarter only. So I hope that got you suitably excited about the project. But if not, um, we've got a teaser after this that we want to share with you. So stick around and watch it. I trust that we were put here for a reason. There's no sign of habitation on the surface. Why would the caves be any different? Maybe we would have found something if you stopped questioning me. Because it's not just the remote sensings. The GPR scan also came back positive. There's definitely something down there. Hashtag EPT film, baby. <laughs>